Just when you thought Infinite Forbidden had a monopoly on level 6 fiend monsters, we have the Return of the Goblin Bikers, a level 6 dark fiend with a second and third effect that are hard once per turn. The first one is that if you control no monsters, or all monsters you control are goblin monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Not bad for a level 6 with 2400 attack points. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower goblin monster from your deck. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field and attach it to your goblin Xyz monster as material. That even works if this thing itself is detached as an Xyz material to activate an Xyz monster's effect. Up next we have Goblin Biker Grand Imprisonment, a quick play spell with two effects, both of which can only be used once per turn. Tribute one monster, special summon one goblin monster from your deck, but it cannot attack this turn. Dang, I really wanted to get Goblin King. When a monster declares an attack, my Goblin King, you can banish this card from your graveyard and detach any number of materials from your Goblin Xyz monsters. All face-up monsters your opponent currently control lose a thousand attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. Makes prime, prime targets for Goblin King. I'm telling you, all those Link monsters will be stuck in attack mode. Goblin King smash. Just gotta get him on the field. And last but certainly not least, we have Goblin Biker Grand Crisis. Sounds like the title of an anime open. Continuous trap card, the first and second effects of which can only be used once per turn each. You can target one goblin monster you control and one monster your opponent controls, or one goblin monster in your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Banish both. Unfortunately, not them. Additionally, you can send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard, target five of your banished goblin kings, and special summon them. Except they all have to have different names, so only one of them actually gets to be goblin king. But that is a 5,000 attack goblin king. I'm telling you. Just, just summon him. It's Emperor Pilaf. Just, just channel your inner 2004 and just smack them with goblin king. For more information on the Goblin Bikers, as well as the new Sinful Spoils theme and the two new Sinful Spoils cards that were also revealed tonight during tonight's Jump Miss, head on over to yugiorganization.com.